see everyone mindlessly scrolling at the dinner table, not even paying attention to their kids, to their date, we're fucked. Attention is being sold by Facebook. The YouTube algorithm is based on attention. Attention is the new currency, which shows us how important, how valuable attention is. Do you think our attention spans are gonna get any better? With the YouTube algorithm knowing me better than I know myself, go to your YouTube recommendation after this video and see how fire it is. I've got options and options of well-tapered videos specified to my likings for each different moods I'm in. Maybe even for the type of videos I watch in the day, maybe. And yet, when I do pick a video, I go straight through the comments or I minimize the player looking for another video. Advanced porn helps you get deeper into the fact that you are alone. The dopamine receptors are fried. So if everyone is too busy being distracted with TikTok, video games and Pornhub, what if you don't even have those apps on your phone? What if you don't even like porn? That's crazy. I'm actually the weirdo for saying what if you don't like porn? We live in a world where you are the weirdo, you are the outlier if you don't watch porn. When thinking of success, people are too busy being distracted of, of stuff they need to add on. Oh, I need to add in a meditation practice. I need to learn crypto. I need to do all these extra shit. A lot of it is in the things that you don't do, the things you don't indulge in. What if you took back the time to recollect yourself? take back your consciousness and awareness. You will be better equipped to tackle your day with purpose or even know what your purpose is. Because if you are a young man currently watching this, chances are you don't know what your purpose is. You don't know what you want to do with your life. We're too busy distracting ourselves, numbing ourselves. Imagine a normal person can't even be able to sit with themselves for 30 minutes in a quiet room. Something as simple as that, that seems so normal as a human. The fact that we can't even do that, something so simple, that in itself, I feel, shows the side effects of technological advancement of the algorithm knowing me better than I know my soul. Algorithm can taper a beautiful feed for me in which I'm not able to click off of. And yet, I can't look at a wall. I can't stand to be with myself in the quiet with my thoughts alone. So if you're the weirdo and you're actually able to sit alone by yourself, quiet, no music, no distraction, then isn't it an advantage that you don't need to be constantly just feeding yourself useless knowledge, useless information, useless funny videos? Isn't that a good thing that that's what separates you? Something so simple as just sitting down and staring at a wall. Something so simple and, in my opinion, something so human. That is what separates you. Your attention, your richness. That that is your richness nowadays. Oh, but there's plenty of people who smoke weed every day, go out every week and play video games. Yeah, there are. Quite a handful actually. They're not on YouTube commenting on a video, trying to save their ego, rationalizing their bummy ways. They just are. They're just doing it because all the time they're cashing out playing video games, seeing it as a job and therefore purposeful. Or they're out there in the real world. They know what grass looks like. They can appreciate a leaf, a tree, a plant. They know what it looks like not to sit for eight hours a day. They're not on YouTube commenting trying to save face. Really about it, if you really accept yourself in doing these habits, you wouldn't have to be justifying to yourself to, to a YouTube video. You'd just be going on with your life. Time is more valuable than trying to save face on a random YouTube video. They know that. In fact, if a YouTube video is really pressing you, then maybe you need the detox the most. Claim back your attention. Claim back your superpower. Love.